Well, hello YouTube, I am John Can, and today we're going to do something a little special. It's going to be a quick video. We are going to go take this 2020 Toyota Supra out for a quick run and see how it does. It's one of the uh, nicest perks about working at a Toyota dealership is you get to check out some of the cool stuff. So we're going to go for a ride and see what this will do. It should be fun. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is really nice. The seats fit like a glove. They grab you, uh, the leather is well put together as you would expect. Everything is just sport driven. This car is amazing. The sport mode, you can hear an audible change in tone as soon as you push the button from the exhaust. It is fantastic. It feels like it's a race car and it feels like it wants to go fast. So right now we're uh, cruising out. We're gonna run out to a, a nice spot to drive this thing. I've got Marcos here from the dealership. Uh, he is one of our best salespeople. So if you uh, are interested in buying the Supra, that's the guy right there. I'll tell you what you need to know about it. Yeah, he knows He knows all the things. He's pretty sharp on these uh, sportier cars. I'm gonna just, you know, take for a spin. I'm thinking Marcos is gonna let me drive for a little bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah there we go. And uh, should be a good time. You would figure that uh, with the sport suspension, this thing would be rough, but it's got different modes. You can change it. You've got a sport button here, and it changes the configuration of the suspension, the shifting points, the way the engine runs, you know, the exhaust tone. It makes it beefy. It is cool. Tons of technology in this thing. Toyota does not lack in that aspect for sure. But just check this car out. It is cool. Very minimal road noise in here for sure. Yeah. I figured with it being so lightweight, I know, right? You know that there would be way more noise. The exhaust note in sport, you get a nice little pop. It does. Well, you can feel that acceleration too, boy. What is it? It's 335 horse. 335 horse. Wow. Yeah, 335 horse. But I'm thinking it's got a little bit more. I would have to agree, and honestly, with the car being so light, I think that it's just gonna. Makes a nice sound. How do the brakes feel? Pretty good. Are they grabby, grabby, or are they like they're not grabby out grabby. of there? They're, I wouldn't say they're performance grabby, but they're definitely a little bit better than what stock is. With it being paired up with BMW, it's basically. 80% BMW, but 100% Toyota engineering behind it. So they went in and they inspected what BMW did okay. and said, you know what? It's not up to Toyota car. So they went in and made it a lot stiffer. Okay. So everything, they upgraded everything. The design, the theory behind it is it's all, it's all BMW, Toyota badging, but Toyota came in and made the bar even higher because it wasn't up to Toyota standard. They, they took the specs and jacked them up even more, yeah. basically, is the gist of it in the end. Yeah, that's what they nice. did. Nice, okay. So, I know everybody's saying it's just a C4, but... But really, it's not anymore it's because not they've, they've anymore. taken and changed it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've definitely tuned it differently. The motor's tuned differently. It's got Toyota backing behind it, and it's got the uh, Toyota Racing uh, uh, company behind it. Right, the the TRD stuff. Well, no, it's the Gazoo. Oh, yeah. so the oh TRD wow, okay. TRD program is more for not performance oriented, it's more of a daily driver, whereas the Gazoo is an actual race team and company that uh, the uh, what current, uh, Toyota CEO or Mr. Okay. Toyota is in. He actually goes out and does his own racing and stuff, so he wants to perform. He takes every single car that Toyota has to come, is, has out goes out there and puts it on the track and makes sure it's up to his standard of what 
a car should handle. He's it. making sure it's something that he yeah. would want to buy. He's very yeah. hands-on with everything. Okay. So that's why you have the Gazoo Racing Team, which is the GR, which is the badging in the back. Okay. Everybody always asks what the GR stand for. So it's the Gazoo Racing. Nice, okay. So it's TRD is more of a domestic kind okay. of a, a sport team or whatever they do with all the TRD pros. But the Gazoo is mostly off racing, like hardcore racing. You know, the Supra that's in the circuits right now okay. is completely tuned, and that's what we wanted to do, was make it somewhat like this, where it's a daily driver, but again... But realistically, there's a lot of race car inspiration yeah, in it. I mean, you, you sit down, oh, yeah. you instantly take off. Yeah. Tons of torque. It is. It, it really has the torque. I mean, you can feel it pull you. It is a pretty crazy one. So when you put it into sport mode and you have uh, different configurations on there, you can do on the sport display, which gives you instant horsepower, instant torque reading. So when you get going... snow in the back, instant read on the horsepower, torque, pull, geez, there's a couple different screens, we'll show you how much g-force you're uh, applying, so it's pretty cool, nice and instant little feedback to know what you're doing. Quite something this one. It's got the uh, little deal that tells you the speed limit and stuff. That is pretty neat. Yeah, you gotta be tall to have that on. Yeah. I, I, I was trying to find the adjustment by you know, trying to tinker around there really much. I couldn't see it, but you're taller, so. I <laughs> you am, I do. See it. <laughs> I'm your taller. I wonder how like, the lane keeping system went on. Does it have any of that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. It works big time on the way out here. I was going around. Uh, the one person pulled on the side of the road and it was just wanting to center me back into the lane because it has lane centering assist too as well. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so it'll, it doesn't just keep you in the road, it'll follow a path in the center. And it's got all your dynamic cruise control and pre-collision. It's got a full, all the things. Yeah, it's got a full 360 backup camera so you can see all the way around. Alert system, oh, yeah. trajectory uh, lines that show you forward and backwards what you're about to hit. Yeah, this one's the premium. Great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a, a 335 horsepower with that 365 pounds of torque. But okay. again, I think it's upwards of 400, honestly. It's got to be. It's, you know, for as tall geared as it is, it really seems to have like run out no matter what. That was like just all first gear running and stuff. And... Very nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you got all the carbon fiber package, everything that comes with it with the premium, with the dual climate control, heated seats, nice heads up display, all your safety features. You know, it doesn't seem like it sits nearly as low as like a Corvette or something either. You can actually kind of, you can kind of see things out of here. I don't, maybe, you know, the, the roof has definitely got a bulge in it to accommodate somebody that's my size and whatnot. Um, yeah. But it's not like driving a Mustang where the hood is so huge and you can't see everything or a Corvette where you're sitting so low that it's almost uncomfortable. Yeah, and surprisingly, like from the outside you look at it and it looks like it's got this huge hood and, you know, it's super long on the front. But yeah. when you're driving it, it's not like those, like you said, like a Mustang or a Corvette where it's just all hood and you gotta get past that. No, the, the driving dynamic of it is far better. And ergonomically, it's really well set up. That's, I mean, that's, both BMW and Toyota are pretty good about that. You've definitely got a feeling that the car is kind of wrapped around you, but it's not so bad that it's like squeezing you or anything like that. It's comfortable. Even at my size, I'm a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
very good. It's actually a very, very nice car, very well-rounded. So any of you guys that are like naysayers on this, oh, this car, you know, it's not a real super and stuff. Boy, this thing has really got the feel of something that you would want to drive like on a daily basis. It is nice. Yeah, and like I said, they do go through a big uh, inspection on this. I remember when this particular one, we had an estimated delivery date of over a month and a half ago. Because okay. Because it was supposed to come in, but for some reason they found that something under the hood, a latch, was not properly, properly lining up on a certain amount of bins, uh, bin series. So they pulled this car and about, I think it was like 300 other ones, and inspected them over a month to make sure that everything was up to par. It was just point, right. Yeah, it was yeah. just right. The latch was lining up. They didn't want any kind of safety, you know, reliability or anything. So they pulled everything off of it and had an offsite inspection and went through every single one of them wow. to make sure. But it'll tell you what the speed limit is a yield and you know pedestrian crossing signs will pop up before you can probably even see them i want to, i would love to show people this let me see that for a second so it's telling me that the speed limit is 45 through here and if i get up a little faster than 45 it'll start to flash at me oh but it was in a second ago now it's like on one but it's going to tell you how fast you should be going so it knows the safety is really there Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was flashing me. It's like, oh no, you're you're in a 45 zone. Pay attention there, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely I was doing 47 miles an hour, and it was like, nope. You're like, I know this thing can go over 100, but don't go over 100. Yeah. It's a speed limit. Just because we made it go fast doesn't mean you should go fast. Yeah. Well, Marcos, thanks for letting uh, letting everybody go out for a drive in this thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. It was a, uh, it's a fun drive. It is a fun drive. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm going to uh, take a couple seconds to drive this without you watching, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.